Hi everyone, for the next 5 minutes I will be talking about economic growth, its relation with income inequality and Simon Kuznets approach on the matter. Simon Kuznets was a Russian-American economist well known precisely for his findings on the economic growth field. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1971 after having been working as a teacher and researcher at Harvard University and Johns Hopkins University. We will speak about his academic paper Economic Growth and Inequality, published by the American Economic Review in 1955. He starts the article by claiming that the ideal data for carrying out a proper study of the relation between economic growth and inequality should be based on family expenditure groups, not non-working people sh such as elders and young people should not be taken into account, and the distribution should be a complete one but not only be based on a sample. However, he claims, such data is not available, and for that reason he used data of the distribution of the gross national income before taxes, for years compressed between the late 19th century and 1930 in the United States, United Kingdom and Germany. In a first look at this data, he exposes some findings some findings as the ones being shown in the screen. To make a long story short, he observed that the shares of the lowest percentiles tend to remain equal, while the share of the highest percentiles tend to decrease a little bit in time. After this first look at the data, Kathnet makes some considerations about what is going on within each of the two brackets of income, the highest and the lowest. Regarding the highest income brackets, he claims that almost 100% of the savings in every country are done by the richest people. This system would theoretically lead to a more unequal society year after year, because the increase of the income of the richest depends on the yields of the investment portfolio, which by definition is higher than the increase in salaries. However, as we said before, in the data, Kuznets observed a decrease of the share of the highest classes. Regarding the, lower, the lowest classes shares, Kuznets points out that during those years an, an industrialization and urbanization process was taking place. He claims that it would be impossible to see the share of the poorest remain equal if there wasn't a decreasing inequality level, because urban regions were more unequal than countryside, countryside regions. Finally, he concludes that more research should be done on this very important matter, but he claims everything seems to point out at a quadratic relation between inequality and economic growth such as the one being shown on screen. In following years, Simon Kuznets would work with the United States government to find ways to obtain the necessary data, data for carrying out properly such studies. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye.